Hi, this is Mrs. LaBarbera. This is AP Physics Mechanics C. Today, I want to go over an example of motion on an incline. An experiment is performed on a frictionless surface consisting of horizontal section and a ramp inclined at 20 degree angle. Block A of mass 3 kg rests on the horizontal section against but not attached to an ideal spring at its equilibrium length as shown. The spring has a spring constant of k equals to 700 newton per meter. Block A is pushed to the left, compressing the spring 0.15 meters, and is then released. Part A calculates the speed of the block A when it leaves the spring. This is the concept of conservation of energy, because the only force acting on the block is force of spring, and the force of spring is conservative force. K equals to one half mv squared, and uel is one half kx squared. So from here, you can solve for v and substitute the given values. V equals 2.29 meters per second. Part B, calculate the maximum distance d block A travels up the ramp. Again, here is a concept of conservation of energy. So the only energy uh, force acting on the block are force of the spring during the first part. The second part is gravity. And both forces that are uh, doing work are conservative forces. So total mechanical energy is conserved. So energy is only transformed. Energy in this case transformed from the energy in the spring. At end, it becomes um, gravitational potential energy. MGH equals to the energy of the spring. But they didn't ask you h, they ask you d. So the relationship between d and h is h equals to d sine theta. h is this opposite. Opposite is sine. So from here, you can solve for d. Plug in the given value, d should be 0.783 meter. Part b, on the axis below, schedule graph of velocity versus time of block a from t equals to 0 to t equals to t3. Block A is released at time t equals to 0, lose contact with the spring at t equals to t1, transitions to the ramp at t equals to t2, and reaches its maximum height at t equals to t3. So from 0 to t1, the block is in contact with the spring. So because due to the force of the spring, block is accelerating. However, that acceleration is decreasing because as the spring try to return to its uh, unstretched length, the force decreases. So as you can see in the VT graph, slope is acceleration, slope is decreasing. And at T1, the block lose contact with the spring. It has reached its maximum velocity. From T1 to T2, the block is traveling horizontally. Since there is no friction, the velocity is constant. From T2 to T3, the block goes on the incline. At as when the block is on the incline, acceleration is g sine theta, and that acceleration slows the block down. Acceleration is negative, and acceleration is constant, therefore the slope is constant. Now in the second experiment, block B of mass 0.5 kg is placed on the ramp a distance d from the bottom of the ramp and held in place. Block A is released from the spring, as in the first experiment. Block B is released from rest, so that it collides with block A as block A travels up to the ramp, and two blocks collide at a distance of d over 2 up the ramp. The blocks stick together after the collision. D. Part 1. Calculate speed of two blocks immediately after collision. So. Uh, because this is a question of collision, we use conservation of a momentum. We have we just have to find b prime. The problem is we don't know the velocity before collision of block A. We don't know the velocity of before collision of block B. But we can find that out. Let's consider block A. What do we know? We know initial velocity. We know acceleration is negative because block A is slowing down. We know the distance, the total distance, therefore we know half the distance. We can use the timeless equation to find the speed right before collision. Substitute everything in. Again, this is negative because acceleration is negative. The block, block A is slowing down. 
So you'll have uh, the speed of block A right before collision is 1.62 and its direction is off the ramp. Similarly, we can find the speed of block B. For block B, its initial speed is zero. Its acceleration in this case is positive because it's speeding up. We use the same equation, plug in the number. Block B, however, have the same speed, but it is moving down the ramp. So the two blocks have has had on collision. Using conservation of momentum, we can find the speed after the two uh, blocks collide together. Substitute the numbers, pay attention to the speed of, or the velocity of block B is negative because it's opposite of block A. So you'll have V prime equals to 1.16 meters per second. Pay attention, this number is positive. What does that mean? That means the direction of the two blocks after the collision is up the ramp because down the ramp is negative, up the ramp is positive. Part E, calculate the magnitude of impulse exerted on block A by block B. The impulse equals to change in momentum. The impulse on A is the change in momentum of A. Change in momentum is mass of A times change of velocity of A. We know uh, velocity after collision is 1.16. Velocity before the collision is 1.62. So we have impulse equals negative 1.38 newton times second. By the way, newton times second is equivalent to kilograms times meter per second. This one, however, is asking you the magnitude. The magnitude shouldn't have a negative sign. Sign the magnitude is just 1.38 newton times second. E part B, in what direction, if any, is the impulse exerted on block A by block B? So we already figured out that JA, the impulse on A is negative. That means the direction is down the ramp. That's it. I hope it helps. Thanks for watching. See you next time.